Well, hello, this is Chris Burris again with AutomationMD. I'm going to do another video on Infusionsoft. And today I want to talk a little bit about <clears throat> two things. Number one, how to create a web form. And number two, how to put that web form on your website. In a previous video I did about CRM, one of the things that I talked about in that video was the ability to capture your leads. That's step number two in lifecycle marketing is to capture your leads. If you don't capture your leads effectively, later on down the road it's going to impact your sales. So being able to capture your leads effectively is very important to having a very successful business. And one of the primary areas that I capture leads, and I see a lot of my clients capture our leads, is through our website. So most business owners, they have a form on their website, and when somebody fills out the form, they get an email. Well, with an Infusionsoft web form, what I can do is I can capture that contact in a database, and then I can drop that person into a nurture sequence. Okay, and I'm going to show you how easy it is in Infusionsoft. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm in Infusionsoft Campaign Builder. So the way you get to Campaign Builder is you go to Infusionsoft Campaign Builder, okay? And I'm going to add a new campaign, okay? I'm just going to call it Test Web Form for now, okay? This is just a very simple video, not a lot to it, okay? So Infusionsoft's Campaign Builder has these four different um, areas, Okay, I'm going to first click on traffic sources and I'm going to say website. Okay, this doesn't really do anything. It just helps you to kind of mind map out the process when you specify a traffic source. Then I'm going to drag out a goal. What is the goal? I'm going to say sign up for newsletter and I'm going to change this to contact form. Okay, this is going to be my contact form on my website. Okay, I'm going to connect these two. And I'm going to double click on the web form to open it up so I can modify it a little bit. And by default, these two fields appear on the web form. So I'm going to add a few more things that I want to capture. So maybe I want to capture not just the first name, but maybe I want to capture the uh, last name as well. So I'm going to double click here. I want to click on last name, um, email. Maybe I want to click on, maybe I want to capture the phone number. Okay and maybe I also want to capture and I'm gonna make the phone number not required and maybe I want to know a little bit more about you know what maybe they can give me their company what company they're with too okay company okay and I like to kind of segment my forms a little bit here put that here maybe throw a little title on top and we're just gonna call it you know contact form and you know I don't like to use just a standard submit button so I'm going to double click on the submit object submit button and I'm going to submit contact info okay and I'm going to center my button and I like to make my buttons a little bigger <clears throat> so I'm going to make the width 200 the height 40 and okay, this is my this is going to be my contact form on my website. So somebody's going to fill this out, and it's going to create a contact record in my Infusionsoft database. Okay, a couple of things else I got to be aware of is up here there's some tabs. So there's a thank you page. So I'm just going to I'm not going to really modify this. There's a settings here. There's a settings tab, and basically what this says is. If somebody fills out a contact form, do I want to be emailed? So I'm going to go ahead and put my email in here at automationmd.com and say a new, maybe I can say a new contact form has been submitted. Okay. And then I'm going to go to this code. And this code area is very important. This is how you get it onto your website. Okay. There's several ways that you can get your code onto your that you can get your web form onto your website the way that I like to use is JavaScript okay so what I do is I take this little JavaScript snippet and I'm gonna copy it okay and I'm going to uh, publish my web form so that it's live so now my web form is live and now I'm going to take this web form and I want to put it on my website 
So I'm going to create a page in my WordPress called Test Contact. I'm going to go to the Text tab here, and I'm just going to copy and paste that snippet right into my what right into my WordPress page, and boom, it's ready to go. Now, if we go to the web form here, if we go to www.automationmd.com slash test what I name that <laughs> uh, test contact oh look there's my web form I just created boom it's right in my website you guys see how it's gray here maybe I want it white to blend in a little more so I'm gonna go back to Infusionsoft I want to change the style of my web form to be white so it kind of fits into my um, it kind of fits into my website a little better. It doesn't stand out as much. So I'm going to change the styling to white. Okay. And I'm going to publish my web form again. You have to publish changes in order for it to be live. Now if I go back to my web form, watch this. Remember how I just changed the styling? Oh, look, it's all white now. All right, now, my web form is live. It's ready to go. So I'm going to put in a... a, a a dummy person okay so I'm gonna put in um, not that I'm saying snow white's dumb but I'm gonna say snow white snow white at gmail.com her number is 480-555-6668 company Disney I submit this contact all right, now I'm going to go back to my Infusionsoft application. And let's see. Oh, look, Snow White's in my database now. Snow White has just been added to my database. So that's the power of Infusionsoft Forms. Instead of capturing that contact in some form and just emailing it to me, I can now capture it in my database and now I can do some additional marketing on that. So if I go back to my campaign builder here and I go into my test web form campaign, I can start to do a lot more with that. I can I can I can create a sequence and attach that form to my sequence and I can say call this my follow up follow up contact form sequence. And then if I go in here I can have some automation happening in this sequence. Maybe I want to send the person an email thanking them, you know, for filling out the form and let's talk. Maybe I can create a task in here. Maybe I can, you know, apply a tag. Maybe I can apply a note to their record. Maybe I can create a task for one of my internal, somebody in my internal team to reach out to that person. The, the thing that I want to stress to you is with Infusionsoft, capturing that contact in Infusionsoft, I can now take my marketing automation to the next level. I don't want this video to be too long. Basically what I covered today is how to create a web form in Infusionsoft to capture information as part of that CRM capability and how to publish that form on your website. I hope you've enjoyed this video today. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.